I'm just about to reveal how anybody can start making money as an ACX audiobook narrator in 2022, so let's give it a try. First and foremost, we gotta connect to ACX.com. Now, this platform has been created by Amazon. As you can spot, ACX stands for Audiobook Creation Exchange, as I'm pretty sure you already knew, and the name should be pretty self-explanatory. Not only does this platform allows people to publish their own audiobooks and sell them through Amazon, which is a major advantage because they're bringing all of that traffic for free, but on top of that, the platform offers up opportunities for regular people like you and me who are looking to make some extra money online. Guys, let's face it, creating your own audiobook is not a piece of cake. That requires a lot of creativity, perhaps you need to be an expert in a certain field of activity and share your knowledge through that book. Not anybody can do it, but when it comes to working as an ACX narrator, that is far easier. So here's how it works. What you want to do is head over to this section on the website and pick I am a narrator. And once you're here, this is where the magic happens. It is basically a four-step process. First and foremost, you're gonna get noticed by publishers. Then, you will start working together, you will get the voiceover done, and finally, you will get paid for your services, and that is guaranteed by Amazon. You're not gonna have to chase your clients for the payment. But let's dive a little bit deeper. First and foremost, you guys will need to create the profile, and this is a mandatory step of the process, and it's a really important one. This will be the very first thing that the client sees when they are checking your services. They're gonna head over to your profile, give it a look, and if you're able to convince them that your service is actually high quality, there is a pretty solid chance they're gonna work with you. Otherwise, they may think you're not a good fit. And so, signing up on ACX is going to be fairly easy, so I'm not gonna waste your time with that. And up next, you need to create the profile. But most importantly, once this is out of the way, once you have entered in your basic information, you need to upload some samples. The best part about it is that you can upload an unlimited number of samples in your profile, based on accents, genre, and style. You can take on multiple different approaches. The more audio samples you include, the easier it is for authors to find you. That is the very first thing you can do in order to maximize your chances and thus maximize your profits moving forward. What you want to do is take the time to record as many samples as possible using different accents, different genres, different styles in order to appeal to multiple different clients, right? And when it comes to the payout, this is also going to be really interesting. You've got a bunch of different options. First and foremost, you can choose a per finished hour rate. That is the same way that you would get paid if you are working on a freelancing website, such as Fiverr, for instance. You can actually do that here as well. What you can do on Fiverr is create your own gig and then wait for people to discover your service. They're just going to pay you for your voiceovers, right? So this is a sort of per hour rate. If you like that concept and you think it is more secure, more sustainable, you may want to go for that. But if you want to take a risk, here's an even better approach. Instead of getting paid upfront, what you can do is charge people 50% of the royalties. If you think that the book you are working for right now has a huge potential and is going to become a huge hit, well, if that is the case, you can go for 50% of the royalties. And instead of getting paid a certain amount of money upfront, you can make significantly more profits over the long run run if that ebook is successful, right? But that will depend on a variety of different factors. And so if you're unsure, you can choose a combination of both. This is really flexible and that's what I really like about it. It offers anybody a chance to pick their own approach. Now guys, once everything is set in place, once you have successfully set up your profile and uploaded your samples, what you're gonna have to do is audition for certain audiobooks. If you're interested in narrating and producing, all you gotta do is record a few minutes of the manuscript. And so you can browse through all of those different available projects that are hiring voiceover actors right now, and you can upload a very brief, straight to the point sample. It can only be a couple minutes long. And if you're the rights holder's top choice, you will receive an offer. In other words, guys, you're actually competing against other voiceover actors here. You're not all alone. Multiple different people, multiple experienced voiceovers will apply for that job. And so it all boils down to your ability to deliver a high quality service. But the major advantage is that unlike Fiverr, where you have to lease your gig and then just wait and do nothing about it, when it comes to ACX, you can actually control the outcome. At the end of the day, you are going to create a custom sample for that client and you can put in as much effort as you want in order to convince them that you are a good fit. Again, you control the outcome here instead of just waiting for something magical to happen. Now, if the right holder makes you an offer, you can accept it and then start recording right away. Moving forward, you will have to upload another slightly longer sample, which is a 15 minute checkpoint and the right holder has to approve it. Once they do, you are good to go. You can start 
recording the remainder of the project and get paid for the entire thing. You can even work with other studio professionals. Eventually, you're gonna finish the recording and most importantly, here's the best part, you will get paid. Now, if you and the rights holder agreed on a pay for production fee, you will be paid directly by the rights holder. But if you produce the audiobook as a royalty share deal, then you will be paid based on 50% of the royalties on sales again. There is a significant difference between these two. If that audiobook is not successful, if it's a huge failure, you're gonna end up wasting your time and not making any significant amounts of money. But if you're lucky, if you stumble upon a really promising project and you help them out, you will receive 50% of the royalties, which is quite a lot. That can add up to something really significant. And ultimately, you can come back for more. That is how you're building your portfolio of previous work and you can use that there to further promote your services guys here's the thing about it having a good portfolio to show other people is really important that proves that you know what you're doing you know what you're talking about and you have the skill to create a high quality voiceover for their book Let's just think about it for a second so that author has spent countless days or even months on end creating that ebook right and they want to turn it into an audio version in order to upload it on Audible and make some more money off of it. There was a lot of time and effort and dedication that went into creating that item. They're not just gonna work with anybody, with a random stranger that doesn't really have the skill. They want to work with the best of the best and you need to persuade them that you are that person. At the end of the day, it all boils down to your skill, but that doesn't have to discourage you. But now let's say that you're still a little bit skeptical. You do not think you're gonna make it and you do not think you're gonna stand out among these crowds of talented voiceover actors who have been doing it for quite a while. To be entirely truthful, there are some pretty good professionals on ACX. You're not gonna be the only one to submit your application. And so if you want to look for a more beginner-friendly approach, here's one thing you could do. You could start using different freelancing websites. The thing about this is that there is a lot of traffic. Every single day, hundreds or thousands of people will be looking for such services. Perhaps we're talking about a YouTube channel owner who wants to outsource the work by hiring a voiceover actor. Perhaps we're talking about companies who are looking to create advertising content. Whatever the case, there are countless different opportunities day after day that you can find on these freelancing websites. But there are a lot of different factors that will determine your level of success. We're talking about how efficient and how attractive your gig is, how many different samples you've uploaded, and ultimately the number of reviews you have and your overall rating are also going to count. People don't want to work with absolute beginners. That is a major drawback. Starting off is the most difficult thing. And I'm particularly passionate about this because doing voiceovers was one of the first things that ever allowed me to make my first four figures online. I used to record voiceovers for a YouTube channel, a different one. And let me tell you, when I first started out, I only had a microphone that was worth about 10 to $15 or so. The fact that you need the studio microphone in order to make this work is just a myth. Now, of course, you can eventually make the upgrade once you start seeing some profits, but you do not need to have that equipment right Right off the bat. You can start with some fairly cheap equipment and work your way up. But let's say the Fiverr is not for you. You've just set up your gig, you uploaded your samples, and you still see no results. Well, if that is the case, another option you have would be Voices.com. This is the so-called world's number one voice marketplace, according to the website developers. Now, I'm not sure whether or not that is true, but what I know for sure is that there are countless different opportunities for voiceover actors every single day. Here's what you're gonna have to do. You wanna head over to this section that is entitled Find Work and get started for free. Once that is out of the way, you want to enter in your basic information and that will be able to create a new account for you. Um, next, you want to be the second option. I want to work as a freelancer. That is what we're after, so let's sign up. Moving on, you will have to enter in some more details such as your address, your city, and phone number. But once that is out of the way, you are good to go. And once you're on the other side, there are a lot of things you can do to optimize your profile. First and foremost, you want to enter in an overview. This is where you get to describe your previous experience. Then when it comes to your services, I've added voiceover because that is the skill I have. Now, when it comes to the service description, I kept things very simple. You also get to add your skills. And I chose e-learning, online ads, video narration. And then you want to go for the vocal characteristics as well. You want to make sure these are properly selected. Whenever somebody needs a voiceover actor for their project, they are going to search by this criteria. For instance, they are going to look for a male, young adult who speaks English and has a certain accent. And if you match their selection, your profile will pop up. They get to take a look at your description. And if they think you're a good fit, they will then listen to your samples and eventually hire you. That is pretty much how it works for us. However, guys, there is another way of going about it. If you really want to get the most out of Voices.com, we 
we need to do is get their monthly subscription. Unfortunately, this website is kind of free, but you cannot take advantage of all of the features unless you have a paid subscription. Here's what I mean. If you head over to the job section, you're going to find hundreds. There are literally countless different opportunities available right now, and you can apply for them if you have a premium subscription. Otherwise, you cannot. But as you can spot, there is a lot of scarcity here. Only five responses, only five submissions for this one. It's a $100 project. Here's another one, $300 and only 12 responses. What I'm trying to say here is that the competition on Voices.com seems to be a lot lower than the competition on Fiverr, just because people have to purchase that monthly subscription to apply for the jobs. However, it is not cheap. As far as I know, if you wanted to purchase that monthly subscription, you would have to pay an extra $500 on a monthly basis to get access to all of the features, and that is quite considerable. So I'm not going to force you guys to purchase that subscription, and instead, here is how I would go about it. I would set out by connecting to all of the free websites I know of. I'm talking about these freelancing platforms. Fiverr, Upwork, People Per Hour, Freelancer.com, Truelancer.com, and I keep going for ages, right? I'm pretty sure you're already familiar with those. What you want to do is set up a well-optimized gig on each and every single one of them to maximize your exposure. Sooner or later, people will reach out to you. And what you want to do is complete as many projects as possible. If you're just starting out, you might even lower your rate in order to get those reviews rolling. Because once you get some reviews and a good rating, once you become more established, things are going to get that sort of snowball effect more and more offers will come. You get to build your portfolio at the same time and you can use that as reference whenever people ask you about previous experience. Does that make sense? That's precisely what you need for ACX. A little bit of previous experience will come in handy. And so this is what I would aim for. My ultimate goal would be working as a narrator on ACX because that really pays well. But in order to get there, you would have to take it one step at a time. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, this is not an easy process, but that is precisely why you can get paid a lot. People are not willing to go through the process. But if you're an action taker and you want to give it a try, you've got all the resources you need to make it work. See for now and thanks for watching.